Good morning. Good morning, my kings and queens of Twitch. <laughs> How are y'all doing? Right back to the smooth jazz. That's too exciting for Monday morning. I tried to trick myself by playing the hype music, thinking that I could get all juiced up and ready to embrace the day. No. No. I'm not ready to embrace the day. Who am I kidding? Who am I lying to? I got broken up with last night, so I'm watching this instead of crying to Taylor Swift. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Mom's girl teeth just resubscribed for eight months. Sad witch, eight months 420. Of the best stream. Ty King and we heart eyes Brexit gang for life. You gotta listen to uh, some Taylor Swift. Not the sad Taylor Swift. Listen to the ones about her like committing homicide or wait no <laughs> isn't there a blank space or something doesn't she kill somebody in that song don't listen to that actually i don't know what i don't don't listen to that <laughs> i i'm just doesn't she have songs where she's just like murderous okay i have a couple people to thank shake it off is good that's a good one hold on my screen is glitching the fuck smokes out. The there we go. Just resubscribed for two months. <laughs> Happy to be here on a wide wasteland stream on this fine Monday morning. Happy to have you. My dad smokes the Zaza. Thank you for the prime resub. Welcome back. Uh, a few other people. M W Junior six oh two, thank you for the prime resub. Six months. That's incredible. Thank the you, thank you. Just the architect just resubscribed for eight months. Happy eight, eight months, Ian. months. Love you, man. Thanks, brother. Thank you for having us. Eight. Thank you for having us. I can't fucking talk today. I'm so sorry. La, 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 la. I need to do some, like, acting uh, exercises. I'll do those in a second. Thank you, Architect, for the eight months. Thank you, thank you. Uh, also, Mom's Gold Teeth with the resub. Eight months. Incredible. Talking Beanie with the gifted sub. Always a legend. Thank you, Talking Beanie. Thank you so much. Anonymous gifter with the gifted sub. Thank you, thank you. Talking Beanie with another gifted sub. Icon. Icon alert. Thank you, thank you. Mac Whack with the prime resub. Welcome back. Two months. Bringing it back around. Happy to see that. And then Sharon with the gifted. Thank you, Sharon, as always. Talking Beanie with another gifted. Thank you, thank Volumes you. Volumes Marius just resubscribed for three months. I have nothing clever to say here. That is clever in its own way. All Olis, Olis Marius, thank you for the prime resub. Three months, welcome back. Uh, let me just make sure I haven't missed anybody else. Sharon with the other gifted. Holly Cosmic with the resub. Welcome back, Holly. Eight months. Shout the fuck out. Ruby Ivory with the gifted sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. The Lego, the Lego Lord. Sharon with the gifted again, and then Sharon with three more gifted. That's that's um that's almost it. Five gifted. And Taki Beanie with another gifted. So let's 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 give a swaggy to both of those two legends there. Uh Swaggy alert. Swaggy. Thank you, thank you. Hastily wasted with the resub. Uh, not Mac Zero with the resub. Thank you, guys. Okay, I think that's everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. We're playing this, the cool jazz. We're feeling good. <sighs> feeling good. Okay, you know what? Let's see. Uh... Okay. Acting tongue twister warm ups here. Okay. What do I do? I am unable to speak today. So let's hear it. Hey, team. It's now time to try some. Hey, team. New face filters on Instagram today. Tongue twisters. 
And tongue twisters are meant to warm up your lips and your tongue when speaking. Bah, 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 bah. Tongue twisters help strengthen and... Okay, I know I'm, I'm sorry I'm already pausing. I have a question. Tell me if this is weird or not. Sam is incapable of doing this. Hold on. She can't do it. Like her brain doesn't know how to do that. Is that is that common? Like can other people not do that? I can't do it? She says she doesn't know how. She she just says she does she does not know how to do it. <laughs> And I was like, what is there not to know? How, like, it just feels... Uh, I'm, I'm confused. It's just breathing outward with liquid in your... That's what I thought. You just do it. Exactly. I think there's a mental block. Uh, I feel like I was never taught it. I just always did it. Yeah, it's not like... Maybe it's how, for a while, I didn't know how to roll my tongue, you know, like a... I could not figure out how to do that for a while. I was going, ah, da, 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 da. Maybe it's like that? That's so sad. Gargling is so fun. You're telling me, dude. You're telling me, dude. I just found that strange. I don't believe it. Sam can do anything. That's what I thought, but my, my world was shattered. You can't gargle water. Red flag. Red flag? Uh-oh. Probably a, what is it? Beige flag? L plus gargle ratio. Yep. It's a mental thing for sure. Something of self-preservation. Yeah. By the way, by the way, don't tell Sam I'm saying this. She is, she has been locked on the toilet all morning. It is a war zone in there. She is in battle. She is at war. Scorched earth. Which is worrisome for me because we basically ate the same thing yesterday. We basically had the same we had the same food journey. So that that makes me feel like there's a grenade just waiting to go off inside of myself. Worried about that. Airing her out. <laughs> You're saying I'm airing her out? Someone needs to air out that room. <clears throat> what did you guys eat? I mean, well, okay, we did we we diverged at breakfast yesterday. If I'm if I'm doing sort of a a detective uh, a detective tracing back of what I went through. Hmm. I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Tell tell the people about your morning. I've been having some. My stomach hurt. Is that so? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. And my nose is bleeding. <laughs> and your nose is bleeding? Yeah. Did you shit too hard? Yeah. You're like 11 on the toilet. Literally. That's what they call me. 11 on the toilet. Everyone's saying, you got this. <laughs> Thank you. I would be nowhere without your support. So Sam went with the breakfast quiche yesterday. It tasted fucked. It was wrong. I went with a, a, a bagel. 
It a, tasted sour. It tasted what? Like sour. Like there was some kind of cheese in it, I think, that tasted sour. Like, I don't know. Imagine, imagine like brie being in there. I don't want to. Like it tasted like sour cheese in my quiche and it was not, and the texture was, it was just off. I think that's what it was. I literally think I might have like food poisoning from it, to be real. If we're being real for a second. Yeah, so. Uh, What's your um, bathroom trip counter at this morning? If, if, I, if you don't mind me at what? Five. Five? Yeah. Five. Wow. Incredible stamina. Five before 8 a.m. is impressive, someone said. Five. <clears throat> I need to make like a like a dookie bingo card. One more and I think I could get a toilet bowl bingo. Everyone says you need electrolytes. I know. I'm, gonna, I'm about to hit a liquid IV. She's going to hit a liquid IV, not sponsored. Can we go for number six? I believe in you. Yes, we will. I, yeah. We'll she hit, said. We'll hit number six, I'm sure. She said we will hit number six. She's going. She's like the fucking Jordan of the toilet. Going for six rings. <laughs> I thought, you know, like 20, 23 times. Not 23 times, hopefully. <laughs> going for another. When you think that you're when when you think that she's done, one last ride, the last dance. I feel like you when you ate Chipotle. You do not know what that pain is like yet. Take this and stretch it out over like seven days. <laughs> that was the worst. That I will never eat Chipotle again. That is a promise. I will never do it. Ever. It will not happen. All right, we were about to do some theater warm-up tongue twisters. Let's see what this guy has to say. Stretch the muscles in your face when speaking, which then helps performers be able to pronounce, enunciate, and project okay. their lines Let's clearly. Let's go. So please read over each phrase quietly to yourself. Okay. When you're ready, say each phrase out loud slowly. Everybody ready? Slowly, Everybody at home, do it along. Each consonant in each word. Do it along so with for them. example, red, wrist, watch. Now, it may feel and look a little funny to over-exaggerate the words, but it will actually help you <laughs> when completing. It's not funny. Don't twisters. don't don't be self-conscious. So Repeat each phrase All right, here we go. after me. Red wrist watch. Red wrist watch. Unique New York. Unique New York. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Toy boat, toy boat. Toy boat, toy boat. English horseradish sauce. English Horseradish sauce. Brush each pretzel. Brush each pretzel. A wet red work rag. A wet red work rag. Free flea spray. Free flea spray. Finally, where are all our oars? Where are all our okay. oars? Now, speak each phrase out loud, quickly and clearly. Three times in a row. Three times in a row. So, do it along with me. I will do Here it along. Go. Let's go. Red wrist watch. Red wrist watch. Red, Red wrist, wrist watch. watch. Unique New Unique York. New Unique, York. New York. Unique New York. Unique, Unique New, York. New York. Fuck. Red he leather, needs to pause leather. so I have a Red moment leather, to do it. Yellow. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Toy boat, toy boat, 
Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. English horseradish sauce. English horseradish sauce. English horseradish <laughs> sauce. This is that's going to be me at just the the British pub when I'm putting in my order. I'm just like grumpy. Me at Arby's? Yeah, at the drive thru. English horseradish sauce. English horseradish sauce. English horseradish sauce. Brush each pretzel. 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 A wet red work rag. It's fun to just resubscribe for eight rag. months. Here's a, a vocal warm up for rag. you. Any primers? Any primers? Any primers? <laughs> Any primers? Any primers? It's Bunder. Well, thank you for the resub. Any primers? That's a good one. A wet red work rag. A wet red work rag. A wet red work rag. Free flea spray. Free oh, this one's going to get spray. me. Free flea spray. <clears throat> Free flea spray. Free flea spray. Free flea spray. Oh, let's and go. Finally, where are all our oars? Where are all our oars? Where Talking are they? Where gifted. are all our oars? Throwing us forward. A subscription. Where are Talking all? Mini gifted a tier one sub to throwing us forward. Where are all our oars? Where are all our oars? Where are all our oars? Doubting oh my god, thank you. To just resubscribe talking Beanie with the gifted. This is for thank the coffee you. grinders. Thank we couldn't that be Beanie here without is talking them. this morning. Thank you, thank you. And Doubting Thomas too. Thank you for the resub. Welcome back. Six months. This is for the coffee grinders. We couldn't be here without them. True. Very true. Truer words. True words have never been spoken. Sorry. Tweed 336 just resubscribed for seven months. Twihard336, thank you for the resub. Thank you for the resub. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Where are all our oars? Am I done? Am I an actor Question. now? Which of the phrases was most difficult and maybe you need a little bit more practice? None. None. Extension. Practice each phrase so many times that you can say them clearly and quickly without thinking. Also, come up with a tongue twister of your own and add it to the list. Thanks a lot. Make sure you click on another link for another helpful warm-up. Come up with a tongue twister on my own. <laughs> so something like... Um... Like, like something like, like something like, Sam shit when she sat, she shat when she sits. Something like that. Sam sits, Sam shits when she sits, she sat when she sh s sat. Wait, let me try that again. Sam shits when she sits, she shat when she sat. Sam shits when she sits, she shat when she sat. Go on, try it with me. Sam shits when she sits, she shat when she sat. Sam shits when she sits, she shat when she sat. That's a good one, right? I'll have to have her try that when she comes back in. She, she's she gone. I don't know where she went. <laughs> she ain't here. Sam shits. <laughs> Sam shits when she sits. She shat when she sat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell that one to Olivia. I'm curious. I want. I need to get her take. Uh. Okay. Daily articulate. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hi, and welcome to my video. Hi on daily exercises for better articulation. I think this my is the Lex Luthor Smallville. Of free and easy These five exercises 
So over a period of let's do some exercises. You need to warm up your okay, so the first one is so easy. You do it all the time yourself. I'm ready. It's yawning. That's right. I want you to yawn. All right, everyone. We're we're we're. I, I want everybody to do it along with us. It's Monday morning. We're getting ready. We're starting our day. Let's do this. Okay. Let's do this. I mean, you don't have to pull a stupid face when you do. Yeah, you do. It helps. Stupid when you face. Take in the air with a yawn. You open up all the uh, <coughs> spaces from your lips right spaces down to your diaphragm and because you're letting in so okay. much air things have to create space and this is exercising loads of muscles let's go way down and just right. enjoy it whether it comes naturally or you have to fake it it doesn't matter <laughs> 10 of those to start your warm-up 10 as time goes on you might want to start doing more maybe 15 do 10 for the first 10 days 10 and fucking yawns that's a lot do 15 for the next 15 days then 20 for the 20 days after that and see how you feel and because you'll be doing these exercises daily you'll start to notice uh, a difference and you might want to do more because you might see the benefits and just want to get that much better okay number two is going to be lip trills now singers use this quite a lot anyone who's done any singing out there or <coughs> that have done um, voice work or had to do warm-ups for their shows will have done these basically it's using air to vibrate your lips like this all right let's do this i'm jingling keys now you can choose one tone and stay on that or you can uh, go it's not a singing exercise for us because uh, it also warms up other parts which when you're speaking um will be too tight and you need to be too loose you want to find a balance in the middle and you want to hear the sound coming through the noise is coming through it's not just air not just you hear the difference if you find it so you can make the sound and after uh, doing it for a while you can then take your hands away and do the same thing and as you progress I want you to do this exercise for longer and longer in one breath so if you take a breath <sighs> as fully as you can okay if you can do 20 seconds then go to 30 seconds what, 30 seconds? A minute? Who the fuck is doing this for a minute? Okay. Who could be doing it? If you can do 30 seconds easy, why not try for a minute? And if you can get a minute, why not try for two minutes? The idea is, is wherever you are at the moment, wherever you're starting out from, do it as long as you can, time yourself, and then the next day try and do a few seconds longer or a little bit longer. And again, in a few weeks, you'll uh, <laughs> to keep your breath for that much longer. And you'll be doing lots of work and the muscles will start to work for you in a better way. Again, this is also very good for a warm up if you're going to be doing voiceover work or. I think I'm almost at 10 the yards. Exercise, it's going to be tongue trills. Tongue this trills. Is really similar to the lip trills we just did. Like the weekend. But just with your tongue. So rather than using your lips to. <laughs> You can use your tongue and make an sound. This is really difficult. For Not people. me, baby. Um, a lot of people Not use me. their tongue uh, in a erotic way and, and have a curl. Brrr. My accent, I'm from London, so I generally don't. Oh, are you? I, found this I could not tell. Um, a so true Brexit geezer. It's really good at warming up another muscle. And the tongue is such we got a beads on toast. Right, Let's do it. Your tongue plays such an important part of 
forming words. So these tongue trills are going to help with that. Let's go. Here's how it should go. Exercises that you find a little bit of aching at the bottom of your tongue. That's good. It means it's working. It means it's exercising. No pain, no gain. Okay, for the next two exercises, I'm going to need the board. Oh, he brought the board out, people. Check, please. I think we got it. <laughs> Let's see what he's got on the board. These are almost like tongue twisters. It will promote the idea of getting your muscles to learn to think faster. At first it will be your brain, and then the mouth and tongue and lips will catch up. They're very simple <laughs> words, but when- Let's go, together, I like what I'm seeing. Slightly difficult to say. Duolingo, Padaga, baby. Padaga. Bordogo, Bordogo. What are you going going? Pudugu. What? <laughs> okay, this one's fun. I like this one. E P D G Bayday Gay Payday Gay. Who? Yeah. Who's Who's Bayday, and why are you outing them like this? It's all one round. Okay, so Badaga Padaga Bodago Podago Budugu Pudugu Bidi. I'm a I am a child. I am a big baby. I like this. This is making me happy. Hearing him do that is making me feel joy. That's a good speed to start off with. Uh, Beta gay? Bro, what the fuck? What are you saying to me, man? That's a little uncalled for, man. Beta gay? Petty gay? Yo, chill. Chill. This isn't that type of stream, my man. Um... I know these, so it's a little bit easier for me. So you want to try and make them sound as clear as possible, as well as building up the speed of how The section is just play. called Badaga. Try and do as many as you can on one breath. So to breathe in. Badaga, Padaga, Bodoko, Podoko, Buduko, Pudiki, Pedigi, Pedigi, Padaka, Padaka, Bodoko, Podoko, Buduko, Pedigi, 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 what happens is quite often people. This guy just went sicko mode. Rap God. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. This is what Eminem did. Okay. Let me try one. Let me try one. <laughs> Let's do one we'll run through. Okay. And everybody, I want everyone to try it at home. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Badaga, padaga, bodogo, podogo, budugu, pudugu. Bidigi, pidigi, bedege, pedege. Okay. Now, can we get a little speed? <laughs> I'm beginning to feel like rap god. <laughs> can we get a little speed? Okay. 
Badaga padaga bodago podago budugu pudugu bidigi pidigi bedege pedege. Okay. All right. How are we doing? It's coming along. Try and do as many as you can, Mamba. Breathing. Badaga padaga bodago podago budugu pudugu bidigi pidigi bedege pedege badaga padaga bodago podago budugu. What happens Okay, I got the first one. Okay, I got the first one. Okay, I can do that fast. Padaga padaga. Let's go. Alright. Bodogo podago. Bodogo podago. Bodogo podago. Bodogo podago. Badaga padaga bodogo podago. I bodogo pizzo bada. Budugu pudugu. Badaga padaga bodogo pla. Bra. Badaga padaga bodogo podago. Budugu pudugu. Bidigi pidigi. Bidigi pidigi. Bidigi pidigi. I'm talking like XQC, bro. This is this is how this is how he speaks. Chet. Paraga paraga porgo porgo. Chet. Paraga paraga porgo 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 porgo. Bidigi pidigi. Listen, no, listen, 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 chat, chat. Paraga paraga porgo porgo. Bidigi pidigi. Bidigi pidigi. They have given 195 gift subs in the channel. Thank you, thank you for the gifted sub, baby matcha latte. Welcome, welcome. We're just doing some uh, war, some some warm ups, vocal warm ups. When Sam sits, she sit. She sh when Sam sits, she shits. When she sat, she shat. Baraga paraga borugo porugo bidigi. Oh, budugu. It's budugu pudugu. Budugu pudugu. Okay. Baraga paraga borgo 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 porgo burgu purgu bidigi pidigi berge pedege berge chat berge chat chat berge chat chat oh my god chat berge berge okay berge pedege borgo porgo burgu purgu bidigi pidigi berge pedege Oh, that was pretty good. Let's go. Let's go. Baraga paraga borgo porgo burgu purgu bidigi pidigi bedege 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 pedege. Brr. Brr. Okay. What happens is quite often people think too much about how they're breathing. I want you to concentrate more on what you're reading and getting that correct and forget about the breathing. Because what will happen is the breathing will come. What's more important. <sighs> is that you get these right. There's a lot of training videos out there for breathing. Quite often I find that when people start thinking about the breathing, it, it, they get too conscious about what they're doing. So I want you what to, they're doing. to concentrate on these. And if you do want to have some breathing exercises, okay. there's a video below that has those on there for you. Once you are able to say these faster and you are able to say more on a single breath, uh -huh. you will discover that your articulation will naturally start to become better in general everyday life speech. How often does he and want me to do this? Like these every are great day? To warm up just before you need to speak. The next exercise... Just before you need to speak. I imagine like before I have to talk to somebody. Hold on one second. And then I go over to the corner. Baraga, paraga, borgo, borgo, burgu, purgu, bitigi, pitigi, bedige, pedige. Brr, I can already hear it in your voice. You sound great. That's incredible. Look at the look at the motion on my mouth right now. 
<clears throat> I'm really trying hard here to talk and enunciate my words. He's very similar to this. Oh my god, he's got more. It's another set of words. But this time we're <laughs> Is using it now? different um ma, sounds. Ma. So we have ma na la la vaza, mo no lo lo bozo, mu nu lu du vuzu, mi ni li di vizi, me ne le ve beze. I find these very difficult. You might find these easier. I will not find these easy. If you if this dude the rap god finds these hard I will not be okay. Manala Thavaza Monolo Dovozo Munulu Thuvuzu Minili Thivizi Menele Theveze. Okay. Manala Thavaza Monolo Dovozo Munulu Thuvuzu Minili Thivizi Menele Theveze. Here we go. Manala Thavaza Monolo Dovozo Munulu Thuvuzu Minili Thuvuzu Menele Theveze. So again, these ones are going to help tighten up as articulators and within a few weeks you're going to notice that you can do them much easier and better. And all He is cooking. Okay. Barzi underscore zero just resubscribed for eight months. <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth, Budsy. Thank you for the resub. Welcome back. Eight months. Let's go. Manala Tavaza. Monolothovozo, Munulutuvuzu, Minili Thivizi, Menele Theveze. I'm cooking. I'm cooking. Manala Thavaza, Monolothovozo, Bluff. Bluff. Manala Thavaza, Monolothovozo, Munulutuvuzu, Minili Thivizi, Menele Theveze. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. 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 Manala thavaza mono lo vovozo pavoza so bata papata ta rapata dupata sipita papata duda titipata o rapata titipata o mapata safata ta o rapata dupata titipata japata pokata padata ta o o okay manala thavaza mono lo mono lo manala thavaza mono lo thovozo mono lo thovozo mini li thivizi me la le ba Okay. I'm so close. Manala tavaza mono lo tovozo munu lu tu vuzu mini li tivizi me le 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 Almost. Okay. Here we go. Mana la thavaza mono lo tovozo munu lu tuvuzu mini li thivizi mene le theveze. Let's go. Let's go. Z here. I got it. I got it. Manala Tavaza Mono Lofo Manala Tavaza Mono Lotovozo Munu Lutu Vuzu Mini Li TVZ Menele TVZ Manala Tavaza Do Papa da Sava la Lava Natavaza Mumana Tova da Do Manala TVZ Menele TVZ Manana Bada da Go Baraga Paraga Borogo Porogo Burugu Burugu Gu Pidigi pidigi pedigi pedigi topa da te pa te o tama da pedigi topa sa pedigi papa da te pa te re topa da pe papa da pu pa da te pra pa da po pa da se pa da pu pa da te pa da pa pa da pa pra pa da ta 
Rapatotopatoto. Baraga baraga borgo borgo burugu burugu gu. Pidigi pidigi bedege pedege o badu badu. Mana la tava za mono lo tova za mono lu pupuzu. Mini li tivi si mene le pebe te peba da do ba do do. Pama na tava za mono lo tova za mono lu tupuzu. Mini li tivi si mene le pebe te peba da ba ba da bo. Mana la tava za mono lo tova za mono lu lu tupuzu. Mini li tivi si mene le pebe te. Baraga, baraga, borago, borago, boo. What happens is quite often people think too much about how they're breathing. Yeah, so you got that right, dude. I think I got it. I think I got it. I'm feeling good about what happened here. So guys, I went to the Lego store yesterday and I bought this big boy. I bought this absolute unit, okay? Um, I'll probably do another Lego stream building this and then I'll, uh, I'll pick a, a subscriber or something and I'll I'll uh, give it away. I don't know when I'll do that. Maybe tomorrow. So we will do the big the big boy giveaway. Where's the Vespa? We drove so far to the nearest Lego store. And all the sets I was looking for, they did not have. They did not have the Vespa. They did not have the 100 Acre Wood. There was something else I was looking for too. Oh, uh, the they did not have the Avatar Submarine. Um, Ruby Ivory with the Hype Chat. You also have a Starry Night set coming in the mail? No way. W Ruby, Wooby, <laughs> Wooby. Mene le teveze. That's amazing. Thank you so much. I, I almost I almost got it. I, I I took it off the shelf. That's so exciting. I can't wait. You're the Lego dealer. That's crazy. Lil Exhaust Zero asked just resubscribe. Lil Texas for Toast. Will we be? Woo 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 be says Lil Texas Toast with the resub. That's Sam. Sam, how are you feeling? Can we get an update in chat? I took it out of the box so the package isn't huge, but it has the instructions, all the bags of parts packed up in a smaller box. That's incredible. I love that. Thank you. Sam said, I'm on the turlet. Sam, <clears throat> I came up with a tongue twister of my own. It goes like this. When Sam sits, she shits. When she sat, she shat. What do you think of that? When Sam sits, she shits. She sat, she shat. When Sam sits, she shits. When she shat, when she... Fuck. When she sat, she shat. She just said, yup. <laughs> I'm glad it's relatable. Are we all warmed up? I've been enjoying doing these vocal warm-ups. That guy had some good ones. I don't know if we'll get any that are better than that. <clears throat> I'm warmed up? I know you are, Sam. I know you are warmed up. I know you're all warmed up. You know, we could have just had hot tea. Look at I'm 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 trying to speak in a way that is very I'm I'm speaking. I'm moving my mouth a lot to try and hit every sound. Paraga paraga. 
Borgo Porgo. Peepoo doo doo. Yeah, that's right. That's right. We're doing well. We're doing good. What's going on? So it's the morning. What, what other morning uh, ritual things should I be doing here? What's going on with James Harden? I saw someone say James Harden. In chat. I'm sorry that this is basketball news. What is this? James Harden. Daryl Morey is a lot. Okay. This is some tea. This is basketball tea. Daryl Morey is a liar. And I will never be a part of an organization that he's a part of. Let me try it again. Daryl Morey is a liar. And I will never be a part of an organization that he's a part of. <laughs> what is this drama? <laughs> what is this drama? Okay, for people who don't know, Daryl Morey is the owner of the Philadelphia 76ers where James Harden plays basketball. James Harden, for those who aren't familiar, is one of the one of the uh, most known um, basketball players in the world. He is, you know, a uh, top 75 player in the M in the history of the NBA as honored by the NBA. <laughs> and he's beefing with the owner of the team. He said, he said, can I, he said, I want to be traded. Funny enough, he wanted to be traded to the Los Angeles Clippers. And essentially the owner said no. He was like, no, no, nah, I don't think I'll trade you. And he was like, I, I, I demand, I demand to be traded. And they're like, too bad. So now he's going around saying Daryl Morey is a liar. There's actually more to it, though. I believe I I'm not fully in the in the in the know with all the tea. My understanding is that Daryl Morey, the guy who owns the team, offered. This is just based on what I was reading last night. Apparently, offered him a contract. If he, a big contract, if he took a pay cut for one year and then never gave him the big contract. Maybe I have that detail incorrect. But if that's true, that's pretty fucked up. just resubscribed for seven months. That's probably why he's Good so mad. Morning. DMLA, thank you for the resub. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Welcome back. Seven months. I love they got the double angles here. They got two. I got to see him say. And Morey is a liar. <laughs> with the big picture of him behind. And I would never be a part of an organization that he's part of. Damn. The T. <laughs> there are more when he sees James Hart. Let's get nuts. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. Good tea. James Harden is going to be a clipper. I don't know if I necessarily want. Okay. I'll take it. I think it'd be funny. I don't think they'll win. They definitely will not win. Lacey, thank you for the follow. Uh... Weather check? You guys want weather check? Okay. Who? Okay. All right. Here's the part. Let's get this jazz going on. Who needs to know the weather today? First person in chat to say where where they need weather. I will tell you. First person in chat who needs a location. Climax, Michigan? All right, the weather today in Climax, Michigan, you're looking at looking at 
73 degrees, 4% precipitation, humidity at 74% with winds of 8 miles per hour. It's looking like it, you might get a little bit of rain today. There's, so while the icon is showing rain, but your precipitation chance is 4%, which is not very high. But that's pretty good. Oh. Okay. Look at that 99% precipitation at 3 p.m. So you're definitely going to be getting rain. It's going to be a nice, nice, somewhat warm rain today. So I hope you enjoy that. Don't forget to pack your umbrella, okay? Anybody else? Anybody else? Dublin, Ireland, okay? Dublin, Ireland. All right, you're looking at 67 degrees Fahrenheit. For you, 19 degrees Celsius, you know, for, for uh, to, to make things more universal here. Precipitation, you got a 9% chance. Humidity, 68%. That's a high humidity percentage. So it's going to be a little muggy today. Winds of 9 miles per hour, uh, you know, that's doable. It's going to be slightly cloudy, slightly overcast. That's going to be that nice, cozy indoor weather, I'm feeling like. You want to stay inside, in my opinion. Maybe go for a walk in the morning, you know, go stretch your legs. Then kind of stay inside, do some work inside today because it's going to be a little humid. Uh, okay? Anybody else? Anybody else? Let's see. Did you know percent rain doesn't mean percent chance of rain. It means the percentage of your area that is getting rain. Wait, this? This number right here, you're telling me this is saying that 24% of Dublin is getting rain? That's how it works. Sam just walked in and said, that's how it works. You, uh, you, you're acting like you, you know this? I did know this. You did know this? I did know this. What's the percent chance of humidity and precipitation uh, on the toilet bowl? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Okay. There's a hundred percent chance of precipitation in our bathroom right now. Okay. A hundred. We got a hundred percent chance. Very good. What's, what's your count at? Six? Seven. Seven. That's a bingo. Seven. Okay, I need help reading this. So, this, Dublin, Ireland, says precipitation 9%. But then here in this chart, okay, is that for right now? Okay. So, you're telling me that when it says precipitation 9%, saying that 9% of Dublin is getting rain. Are you kidding me? I see no, nope, and yup. Ain't no way. No way. It is 9% chance, someone said. So Sam, you're telling me that this 9% means what I just said, that it's 9% coverage or chance? I have, I have heard that before. That it's coverage. Yes. I have heard that before. I don't really see how it makes sense. Y'all are hearing misinfo. Okay. Percentage chance of precipitation meaning. What does this 40%? Okay, wait. Explaining probability of precipitation. Okay, what does the 40% mean? Will it rain 40% of the time? Will it rain over 40% of the area? The probability of precipitation POP simply describes the probability that the forecast grid slash point in question will receive, will receive at least 0 0.01 inches of rain. So in this example, there is a 40% probability for at least 0 0.01 inches of rain at the specific forecast point of interest. So...
It is probability. Okay, here's a quote in chat from Kierkegaard and Sailor Moon. Me meteorologists aren't in agreement on how to measure the probability of precipitation, a.k.a. that little percentage of rain on your weather app. Some use a formula for it, POP equals CXA, where C stands for confidence and A stands for area. Uh, so if there's a 50% chance of rain in 80% of a given area, your probability of rain becomes 40%. That's interesting. Oh, I see. Because have you noticed in LA, we always have a percent chance of rain, even if the sky is like totally blue. I feel like in LA, the weather app always says like 10%, 20%. I just wonder how that works. So if, oh, but then this quote says some use a formula. Co confidence times area. Uh, more commonly, meteorologists measure POP as the chance of rain at any given point in the area they cover during a certain period of time. This is the definition closest to the official definition from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Oh, the big dogs. Um, chance of rain at any given point in the area. Well, I guess that would... I guess it would make sense if it's a combination of both. If it's chance of rain across a certain amount of area. Because, you know, there'll be times where downtown los angeles will get some rain whereas glendale doesn't get that cloud uh so the whole of los angeles weather yeah you you'd think it would take that into account i guess that would make sense well now even i'm confused and i brought it up <laughs> uh are parts of LA higher than others? Maybe a little, not really. Yeah, there have been multiple times in Montreal where my mother, who's in the east, had no rain and I was getting heavy showers in central. Yeah, so you'd think they would have... It's chance, not coverage, 100%. Okay. Ian, please enunciate. I cannot understand a word you're saying. I'm actually trying very hard to enunciate. I am trying. Do you not hear? Do you not hear me? I, I am working. I am working the mouth. I'm trying my best here, people. Uh, this is riveting stuff. The riveting. What that mouth do? Enunciate. That's what that mouth do. What is this dude even saying right now? Okay, you guys are actually going to get me upset. Introverted underscore Unico. Just resubscribed for five months. Five months, yay. You know who has the best enunciation? Is the text-to-speech guy. Introverted Unicorn. Resubscribed for one month. They've been subscribed for five months. Yay. Do you have an update on the deviated septum situation? Why does it do, does it sound like I have something going on? Do I sound blocked up? Is this an XQC stream because I can't understand anything? Okay, guys. Very funny. A little nasally when am i not it's always i asked the doctor and he was like he looked at my nose and went now nah, you don't have one which i think i would like a second opinion i would like a second opinion on that are you a morning person not really but i've been streaming in the mornings i don't know i've, I've been enjoying the morning streams he took your nose yeah he did that and he said looks good to me and then he put it back on you can do something at home to test if you have one uh 
I think I am because I am usually I am constantly like blocked up. I'm constantly <clears throat> Yeah. Maybe he gave you back a better nose when he put it back on. Yeah, that's possible. Get a cough assist. I use it in the morning and it clears me up. What is that? <clears throat> Airway clearance device? By simulating a cough? Whoa. That's kind of slick. Ian Septum be deviant. A deviant septum. Okay. Cough assist. This is going to be Sam in the mornings. Here's me. No cough, just vibes. Your septum hitting a devious lick. Sam said my septum hit a devious lick. Sam hyped up a big... Last night she tweeted out... I gotta show this. Where is it? I'm going to put out a banger tweet tomorrow at 9 a.m. sharp. Sam's hyping this up. The, the anticipation is palpable. Ian knows what the tweet is. Big hype. Tweet 336 just gifted one sub. Game changer tweet. Twihard with the gifted sub. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. The banger tweet. Is it a banger? It's a banger tweet. I was there at the conception of the tweet. Is it a give people a heads up a day in advance sort of tweet? Probably. You were going to say probably not. Okay, guys, there's big news. Big news. Addison Ray is returning to music this Friday, people. Big news, Sam. She's back. Here to save the music industry. She's back. Boy. Dug up a few leaks from the lost album, she says. Queen of Pop returns. Addison Ray came out, put out one banger, and left. That song is good. I'm sorry. This song is a bop. It's a bop. Sorry. 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 Uh... Okay, what else do we need to do? Normally we do the, uh, what's the, the damn, the, the word game? <laughs> what's the word game? She wants to be Charlie so bad. Charlie loves Addison Ray. I wonder if she would be on her album. Wordle. That's what people do in the morning, right? 
Okay. All right. Coming out the gate, I always go with a, a, a quote. Nothing. Uh, okay. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm trying to incorporate. Okay, this is not good. Hold on. Wait, and I won't look at chat. I'm not gonna look at chat at all, okay? Uh, all right, let's try uh, Drain. Drain Gang. All right, we got an A and an N. Okay. Uh, um, maybe plank. Okay. Okay. So we have a K and the N is in the first two spots. Okay. Um, mm. what? It's the K. Okay. I don't know what A K then the final letter would be. I don't know. Could it be, could it be, wait, I was going to do knack. <laughs> well, let me, let me just see. Okay. So that is where the end goes. It was almost the donkey wordle. I'm not looking at chat because I would be embarrassed. Okay. So the K goes here. N A K. So what? S N A Sn No Snake. What? Am I stupid? Snakey? Okay. Thank God. Thank God. I I started to get stressful. I've I started to get stressed out. If if I lost that in front of you guys, it's super embarrassing. It's basically a public IQ test. I'm don't I'm embarrassed by. Austin Butler reveals Tom Hanks offered him a new role immediately after Elvis to prevent emotional whiplash. You have immersed yourself so deeply in Elvis that for your mental health, it would be wise to go straight into something else. That's how Tom Hanks sounded in that movie. I can't believe he fired off that accent. Everyone talks about Austin Butler's accent.
this accent is is wild. Where's the at? Where where is he talking? I need to hear his, I need to hear him talking. What are these clips? Just have the di the guy talking. Here comes Santa Claus. I speak you the gospel number now. Go. Here comes Santa Claus. Here comes Santa Claus. Here comes Santa Claus. Guy, he's playing. This is this is him in an interview. Dad. So you thought it was just a bad, uh, that, that, that it was bad promotion, even though it got someone very well known, that it ultimately didn't work out for the best? Well, I, I felt it was good for us not to go on, although all these fellas were good friends of mine. But when you go on these shows, most of the time they book people when they're big stars. This is the guy he's playing. <laughs> Here comes Santa Claus. You've immersed yourself so deeply in Elvis. Oh, yeah, I had to play something else right away. I had to play Forrest Gump Jr. or something. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Let's see. All right, I'm going to check. Let's check the horoscopes. Let's check the horoscopes and um, just to be safe, let's go ahead and do horoscope.com. Let's do Washington Post. Uh, let's add this one. Let's see. Let's do the Globe and Mail. Sure, why not? New York Post. Sure. So one of these has to be good, right? So then that's the one that I'll choose. So whichever one has the best uh, reading for me today is the one that I'll pick as the one that is true to the universe. So let's cue all these up here. Uh, numerology. Wait, there we go. Horoscope today. There we go. August fourteenth, and here we go. All right, we got them all queued up. So Gemini, what have we got today? You have independent views about everything, Gemini. I love this when they when they do that. It sounds like. A, a standoff with like a villain in a movie like a sith you have independent views about everything gemini people would be wrong to try to box you into thinking a certain way you hear that sam don't box me into thinking a certain way she just did this <laughs> Don't let others convince you to accept something you're skeptical of. You know what you believe, so don't be afraid to express it, even if they go against the grain. Independence is important to you. You want others feel this freedom that's so critical to a healthy lifestyle. I'm a strong, independent person. Okay, that one's fine. So don't let others con convince you to accept something you're skeptical of. Yes. So essentially the way I'm reading this is that I am always right and don't try and stop me. I am always right. You want others feel this freedom. True words have never been spoken. 
Okay, uh, that's an interesting one. Let's roll over to Washington Post. If someone is critical about your work or your attitude today, don't waste any time worrying about it. Talk to the hand, idiot, loser, dumbass. Unless they're saying things that will negatively affect your reputation and how others see you, you don't need to give a darn about what they think. I don't give a fuck. Okay, I can, can, I can kind of combine these, actually. I'm always right, and if you say otherwise, I don't give a fuck what you have to say. But if you do start seeing that people might be listening to this person and believing what they say, then you must address the attacker immediately. Oh my god, this is like battle plans. People will think that if you don't fight back, then what they are hearing must be true. Okay, so if somebody is running their mouth about some bullshit, I need to shut them down, say, you're wrong and you're stupid. You're wrong and you're stupid and here's why. And I have to do that. Okay, good. Now let's run over to the Hindus, Hindus, Hind, Hind, Hindustan Times. Hindustan? How do you say? So Hindu, obviously. Hindustan. Hindustan Times. Okay. Hind, Hind, Hindustan. Hind. Unique New York. Unique New York. All right, Gemini. Good earnings will make you splurge and enjoy life in general. It's time to go to the Lego store. Health-wise, you are likely to remain perfectly fit and energetic. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my body is a temple. You are likely to impress those who matter at work. God. Single mothers are likely to become more financially secure. Going on a fun trip with friends is on the cards. If you want to buy property, the time is favorable. All right, I got a, I got some phone calls to make. Your disinterest in a task on the academic front will be quite evident. All right. Uh, and spending time with a lover is indicated. Lucky number three. My lucky color is dark piss yellow so if i take if i oh god if i take three really dark pisses i will be having a very good day i will be calling up a real estate agent and buying property okay so all i'm going to take out of this one is I'm just going to pick and choose what I like. Um, good earnings will make you splurge. I'm going to take this one to justify going and buying, you know, like a $250 Lego Pac-Man set. Uh, and I, I'm fine with dumping most of the rest. Oh, except the part where it says my health is, and I'm perfectly fit and sexy, actually, is how I read this. Uh, moving on to the Globe and Mail. The message of the stars as the new week begins is that spending time with friends and loved ones is infinitely more important than making money and getting ahead on the work front. You cannot put a financial value on having fun, still less on love. Well, this is bullshit because if I want to go have fun and I want to go see the new Ninja Turtles movie and I want a large popcorn and I want big soda and mac and cheese bites... And I want to get good seats with two people. I'm looking at like $75. That what Can I print this out and show them at the movie theater? Will they accept this? Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Um, my star sign tells me that you cannot put a price on fun. So I will be entering this movie theater free of charge. And if you have an issue... Take it up with the gods. Take it up with them. It's not my... This is what I've been told. No, the horoscope is telling you to sneak in a really large popcorn, good soda, and your own mac and cheese bites. This is an anarchist horoscope. Okay. This is a horror scope. Am I right? Oh, we got a duck. 
Um, that's an interesting uh, interpretation. I like that. And we are on the New York Post. Which is saying... The message of the stars? Wait. The New York Post just ripped off the Globe and Mail. They used the same stars. That's weak. That's weak. Lazy. You can't copy homework from the constellations. It's the same message from the stars. Yeah, they double sent. Like when you when you lose service and you accidentally send a text twice. One is an SMS and one is a iMessage. I see. Okay, it was a double star reading. Marnie with snakes just resubscribed for two months. RIP, I got to go to work but came to say hi. Marnie with snakes, thank you for the resub. Appreciate you stopping by at all. Two months. Welcome back. You're going to miss all this incredible content, like me reading nine different horoscopes to decide my future. Very riveting stuff. I could tweet this one out. <laughs> hey guys, get a load of this. I just don't add anything. <laughs> Death Grips underscore BB just gifted two subs. Death Grips BB with the two gifted subs. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Good morning from Ottawa. Good morning to you. This is Donna Coded. Wait, I was going to undo it. Where's the tweet? <laughs> this is, this looks like spam. This looks like spam. I backed out. <laughs> I'll save it to the drafts. You know what? I'm going to save it in the drafts and then post it in two months. So it's the August horoscope from two months ago. I'm going to save it. <laughs> I'll save it. We'll circle back. Make it as boomer as possible. Very good. All right, so uh, probably if I'm going to pick my favorite, I like this one where I'm always right. So I'm going to take this one. People will be wrong to try to box you into thinking a certain way. So here's what we'll do. Let's go ahead and I, I want to take the best. I want to take the best shit. So... People would be wrong to box you into thinking a certain way. That sounds good. I like that. I want that. Uh, don't let others try convince you to accept something you're skeptical of. Once again, don't tell me I'm wrong. You know what to believe, so don't be afraid to express it even if it goes against the grain. Once again, always right. Uh... Independence is important to you. Eh. Sure. You want others to feel this freedom. I like that. I'm going to take that. <laughs> That's good. So we'll take that. Moving on. I'm going to take, if someone is critical about your work or your attitude today, don't waste time worrying about it I'll just actually you know what I'm just gonna stop it don't waste any time worrying let's see we'll make some edits here and then I'm gonna skip over and say you don't need to give a darn about what they think that's good I want that uh, the rest we can dump all right moving on uh, 
health wise you are perfectly fit and energetic i want that so i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and take that uh you are likely to impress those who matter at work i'm just gonna say i'm just gonna take you are likely to impress so i like that um let's see Good earnings will make you splurge. Good. And... You cannot... The message of the stars is the new week because spending time with friends and loved ones is infinitely more important than making money and getting hit on the work front. You cannot put a financial value on having fun. I'm just going to take... I'm going to take having fun and I'm going to take love. Okay. So here's my horoscope. People would be wrong to try to box you into thinking a certain way. Don't let others convince you to accept something. You know what? Let's just leave it there. <laughs> Don't let others convince you to accept something. You know what you believe, so don't be afraid to express it, even if they go against the grain. You want others feel this freedom. If someone is critical about your work or your attitude today, don't waste any time worrying. You don't need to give a darn about what they think. Health-wise, you are likely to remain perfectly fit and energetic. You are likely to impress. Good earnings will make you splurge. Having fun. Love. <laughs> now this is a horoscope. I'm feeling good about today. I'm feeling very good about today. I don't give a fuck about what anybody says, I'm spending money, I'm healthy, and I'm full of love, and everybody else is wrong except for me. Love this. Love this. Change splurge to splooge? Well, you know, those are those can go hand in hand. This is a gaslighting horoscope? No, I read the message from the stars I got out my astrological ham radio and I've tuned in my frequency and this is what I've got. The stars said all of this. These are all words that came from the stars. I did I did not delete any words. I just rearranged the stars to a way that I liked. So I'm feeling good now. I'm feeling ready to embrace the day. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling empowered. Feeling confident, I'm feeling empowered, I'm feeling ready to go. Beautiful. Wow. Space was so nice to me today. Hermanfis just resubscribed for eight months. Eight big ones. Eight months. Ham and Fist. Welcome back. Legend. That's the whole time. I love, it's so cool to see when people have been here the whole time. Uh, the whole time. Incredible. Hey King, are you going to have a birthday ceremony when you hit nine months of streaming? Wow. Oh, like, like I, I'm celebrating the birth of my stream. It's been cooking in the oven for nine months. That's an interesting thought. Upstream baby shower or a birth, birthing party. <laughs> That's an interesting idea. <laughs> Do a home water birth. Yeah, I'll set up a big tub in here. We need the cursed 20k stream first. I know. We do need to do that. I need to pick a day. I've been putting it off. Because it's going to be a nightmare. 
I also have to figure out... I have to set it up. I have to figure out a way for you guys to queue up videos. So I really need to start doing the research on that. It's going to happen. Don't, don't, don't think that I forgot, okay? It will happen and it's going to be a nightmare. I just need to figure out the best way to, to do it. Can you use watchtogether.com? Let's see. So what do I watch together? So I share the site is still up. Oh, you know also what I want to do? I've talked about this before, and I, I really want to do this next. I want to do this soon because I saw a clip. Let's see if I can find, if I can't find the exact clip, something f uh, similar. Um, I saw some clip. There's some like XQC drama going on. I'm not, I, I'm not familiar with it. Uh, What was it? Was it this? Not only will I leak what you just. Okay. No, oh, no, this is not a. Where is it? I saw a clip of maybe it's. It's something like this where. Look at this. This person is watching this person. Who is now what this person is watching this person watch him and now this person is watching him watch him watch this person and it looks like it might even go deeper actually wait how deep does it go wait this person wait i see le there's levels wait i need to full screen this just so i can like see oh whoops Whoops. I'm trying to move chat. Okay, I'll move you guys down here. So wait. And let me let me move let me move over here. So this person is watching him, watch him, watch him, who watches him, who's watching him, who's watching him, watch him. So this is Zach Fizone one, two, just three, gifted four, five, six, seven. This is eight layers. Zach the sound that with the gifted sub. Thank you, Zach. Thank you, Zach. Zach, look at this. Get a load of this. What do you think about this, buddy? She. He said, that's so two months ago. Okay, Lego Lou. God damn, bro. Back the fuck off, my guy. Lego Lou. Boot Lego Lou. Boot Lego Lou in chat. Play the theme song? The slow one or the fast one? Which one do you want? I'll play the theme song for... You can't spell leg Lego Lou without... Fast one. He wants the fast one. Fine. Here you go. I'll play the theme song for you. This is for Lego Lou, who's demanded I play the theme song.
Let me go ahead and give a shout out to who made this song. Uh, my buddy uh, Grant Nobleman um, on Spotify. Here, here's the uh, theme right here. If you guys wanted to listen to it on Spotify, and uh, he has some other songs as well. Definitely worth checking out. So shout out. There you go, Zach. There you go. Now, where was I? <laughs> no, I'm just, I, I find this interesting. So if I'm counting right, we're at one, wait, one. This is the first la layer, I think. So layer one, layer two, layer three, layer four, layer five, layer six, layer seven, and layer eight. So this is eight. Eight layers to this streamer onion. Now, I think we, we could go deeper on this. Not including me, yes. I would say, so I am the ninth layer. I am the ninth circle of hell in this inferno. Now, I think that we could beat this i've talked about i've talked about this segment that i've wanted to do for a while now and i kind of forgot about it what else is new me hyping up a thing and then forgetting about it but i feel like with all of this uh all this happening as now would be a good time to do it where i talked about playing um twitch uh twitch centipede I think is what I, I called it. We could we could come up with a better name. Like um But I wanna try it. Where I find streamers that are online, small streamers who are down to do it. I wanna do a test. Next time I stream, I wanna find a streamer to do a test where I want to find a streamer and start watching them right and i will i will put them on and full screen it and i will move my box like up into the corner and then they can position themselves like here or something and then i want to then find another streamer that that streamer watches and so then they full screen it and then we keep adding streamers until we can get, we can set some sort of record for a streamer centipede. Cause I, I would like to have, I want to fill the whole fucking box, but there's, there's a couple things to factor in, in terms of doing this segment. There's a lot of little details for one, the audio is going to be fucked. So I'm going to have to set up like a discord to do a Discord chat room. Uh, and then as we find new streamers to participate, I'll have to add them to the chat. That way we can all coordinate over a call. Because say somebody, say we get to the stage where I'm up here and we have like 15 other streamers involved, right? And they're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 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 they start filling it up. And then like streamer eight right here just leaves. They have to get offline. We'll have to coordinate rearranging our OBS boxes to make room and move. And then especially if we fill out the whole screen, but then we want to add more people, then we're going to have to also coordinate moving the boxes. And then I think at the very end, what we'll do is at the very end everyone on mutes and 
try and shoot a telephone. I want to shoot a telephone voice from my first, the the first front line all the way to the back. And I want to see how it sounds. So I'm really curious. I want to do it. The thing is, we need enough streamers who want to participate. So I think we can find people. Like if I just go to like just chatting and I sort by like low to high, um, I'd love to grab as many people who are down to participate as possible. So I'd be streaming. I'm seeing people in chat who, if you want to participate as well, um, I have not updated it in a while. But it could be an easy way to add you to the Discord if I end up making one. Um, if you go to if you go to the Worldwide Wasteland Discord server, there is a channel called Twitch Game. I've mentioned this before. So if you come down to Twitch game and you wanted to participate, just come here and drop your Twitch link in here. A couple of people have dropped some already. Um, so then when I'm live and trying to do this, if I'm if, if you are then in chat and going, hey, I want to participate. This is my username. I can find you quickly, easily. And I'll check people. Uh, I'll check and see if people are online too that post in here. So I just need like a... I need a day to do it because uh, I'm anticipating it's going to be a bit of a clusterfuck. So we'll see. But Shout out Lego channel on the Discord. We need more beautiful builders. Yes, uh, I did. Thank you, Ruby Ivory, for the reminder. So, yes, I did just build a Lego. Or I did just add a Lego Discord channel. Ruby Ivory is in here cooking. Whoa, this is sick. This is so cool. This is where you work. You're just surrounded by Legos. That's awesome. Okay. Shout out. Very cool. Uh, where did I go? Where did I... But yeah, with all this reaction shit going on, I definitely want to do this. I think it would be very funny if we can pull it off. If we can pull it off. We'll see. Um, but, uh, <clears throat> anyways, guys, it is almost nine o'clock, which means PO box. No, unfortunately I, I was so busy this weekend. I will go though. I will go. You know what? I'll go tomorrow. Sam tweet. Oh, I should wait until Sam's tweet drops. <laughs> we have four more minutes. Until Sam's big, big surprise tweet is about to drop that she was hyping up. <laughs> the anticipation. I'm going to put out a banger at 9 a.m. sharp. Well, it's 8.56. Tweeting from the toilet? I don't know if she's still here. Uh, uh, let's see. I'm trying to see if she's still even home. And then I have to head to work. I've been enjoying these morning streams. I like the morning streams. It's nice... It's actually holding myself accountable to doing the morning streams. 
I feel like I'm I'm lagging a little bit. Am I? Maybe not. Maybe a little bit. It's like regulating my uh, sleep. It's causing me to go to bed at like a normal time. Uh, Cause I've been, I've been staying up so late the last, you know, like the last uh, week. I'm trying to get better at it. Hey guys, new follower here. Do you play games or is this more of a chill, just chatting vibe? Uh, it's a little bit of both. Um, a lot of just chatting and dumb shit. Essentially, what we do here is a lot of wasting time. I waste time. Like today, I decided to do vocal warm-ups for like an hour. Just making goofy noises. That's a successful day in my opinion. Uh, I'm a professional time waster. But all sorts of stuff. I want to play more games. I, I'd like to play more games. We're two, T minus two minutes. You know what I've started doing when I shower in the mornings, by the way? This is... Tell me... Okay. When I was a kid... When I was a kid, a thing my dad would do to help get the family ready and out of the house quicker... Uh, he would set a timer and be like, the bomb's going to go off. So he would have this timer and then we would run and try and get ready and get dressed and stuff and get to the car and we'd try and get to the car before the timer ends as like a, or the bomb goes off. I don't know. It, it, it was fun as a kid. <laughs> Don't play that game in the airport. No, 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 no. This is for getting ready. And so. To cause myself to take faster showers. I've, I have started, I put this on a speaker. I've been putting this on a speaker the last like two weeks. Oh wait, Sam's banger tweet should be out. Let me see. It's 9 a.m. sharp. I'm refreshing. There it is, three seconds ago. Peeling back my coffee's clitoral hood. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> wow. Like, retweet. <laughs> there. Wow. Beautiful. Incredible stuff. This is my finger, by the way. Shout out. Okay. So... What I've been doing to take quick showers is every time uh, I've been getting in the shower for the last like two weeks, I put this on speaker. And I blast it. T minus five minutes. <laughs> I blast this. And it, every time it gets, every time there's a new minute. T minus four minutes. And I'm in there. <laughs> Shampoo, body wash, loofah, wash the face. Then I have like a special like, um, um, like bath body wash shit that I apply after. 
And then once you get in the final minute, that's when you know you're really out of time. T minus one minute. Because then it starts telling you every 10 seconds. T minus 50 seconds. See, now, the other, there's another aspect of this where I have like a, um, I have this OCD thing kind of where when I'm showering, I have to end the shower by making it as freezing as possible. And I put both arms up. I make it super freezing. Both arms up. One arm. One arm. Body. Back. 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 Bend over. Crack. Back. Head. Face. Off. I use that exact pattern. If I were to turn the shower off without making it freezing at the very end, it would bother me. It would like mess with my head. So, crack then face. I'm not credit carding the crack at the end. I'm spreading water running down just for the cold, just a little cold bump. I cleaned it earlier. This is just the cold bump. But then I flip back around. But then here's the thing is when, when the timer hits 40 seconds, I've, I've timed this out to a science here. I've timed it out to a science. This T minus 40 seconds means I turn the heat all the way off. It takes about 10 seconds to register and it will start getting cold right about now. T minus 30 and seconds. And then I do my final routine, which gives me 30 seconds of freezing cold. And then at the very end, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Turn it off. Zero. You're going to give yourself hemorrhoids doing that? Look, I'm cooking. I'm cooking. It's been helping me get... Faster, more efficient in the shower because I'm a guy that will take long showers. I will sit there if I'm, especially if I'm listening to music. If I put music, I'm in there just, just like. This speed demon, speed demon. I heard some men don't wash their assholes because they think it's gay. It's one of my favorite parts. One of the best parts in the shower routine. Love it. Five minutes is not enough. Now, now here's here's the here's the thing though. You have to think it's a five minute shower if you are operating like you're a pit stop, pit stop crew. At a, you know, in a uh, uh, NASCAR race, you are the shower. It's the shower pit stop. You, it's five minutes of hyper focused cleaning. Five minutes. The moment you hear that go, five minutes remain. When when you hear four minutes remaining, you're body wash. Shampoo, face off, scrub it. Five minutes of focused, determined cleaning. It's possible. Give it a shot. Give it a shot if you feel like you take long showers or if you're late, you're late for work, you're trying to hurry up, you're trying to go fast. You check it out. Give it a shot. It's very effective. Five minute countdown timer with voice announcement every minute from Craig Media Labs. This is the juicer right here. This is the juice. This is the juice. You know, T minus one. and they have, they have other ones. Maybe you, maybe you want a little more time. They got a 10 minute. A 10 minute though, I feel like is, you know, 
if you have long, luscious hair, you want to really take care of it, you got a lot to do, you want to moisturize, all that, you know, maybe a 10 minute would be fine. Give it 10 minutes, keeps you regulated, keeps you focused. They got 15, 20, 25, 30, you know, you want to just go crazy, just go cook in there 60 minutes. They got four, three, two, one, 50, 40, 30, 20 seconds, 10 seconds. Speed shower. Can I speed run showering? Yo. <laughs> Is there a shower speed run? Where you have to, you have to hit all of the main, uh, the main ingredients, right? Body wash, face wash, shampoo, condition, speed run. Speedrun.com, showering. Anyways, yes, I do need to get ready. I am running low on time. So uh, um, as I'm rambling on... Uh, so thank you guys for tuning in. I'm going to go speed run the shower before the bomb goes off. It's been a lovely day. It's been a lovely time. Probably going to do this one of the next uh, streams. We'll probably do it the way I did the up house stream when I gave that away. So, um, We'll um, we'll figure that out. I'll do that in a. I'll do an evening stream to do that. I just don't, I don't know what day. Maybe sometime this week. Um, so thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you for everyone who's clicked the follow button. V Punks, ya boy, Jolly Ollie, Spatula Joe, Art Perry Helion. My name is Mega, Jackie Legs, Trevor. Thank you guys for clicking the follow. Appreciate you, and uh, have a good day. Ta-ta. <laughs>